All of you have seen the Mastercam toolpath. We talked about the cutter's going to cut right outside your geometry. Could we fool it to cut inside the geometry? I'm Trey Vernon. I go to Lompoc High School, and uh, I'm part of the STARS program. I plan to go to a four-year university, major and get a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. This is 20 pounds per square inch. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Monkey falls. Lompoc High School it has about 1,500 students. A lot of our students just don't feel connected. We, we've surveyed students. Students said there just wasn't a connection. There was nothing that brought them to school. And now we really are getting students motivated, making the learning more relevant to them. Why do you care about the different pressures? Sean had a question for me. From the very beginning, Sean says, How fast is the dart coming out? How fast is the dart coming out? If students have a reason to come to school, they do well. We just needed to figure out what is it that will motivate students. Once we motivate students, teaching is easy. In the STARS Academy, the students feel they know what they're going to do when they're preparing to get to where they want to go. Just being in the program shows that you know what you want to do. You know, you don't want, just want to be sitting around in Lompoc waiting for the flower festival to come around. How about Trey, why don't you bring your stuff up on the screen, we'll take a look at it there. Have you got the STAR? The, um... This process is pretty much my favorite part about this class. I love doing this, it's just fun to do, I think, just seeing just how we can go in and see how our product's going to look and then just being able to transfer this into the machines in our machine room over there. It's just, it's amazing to me that it's so easy to do it. Okay. So your feed rate's going to be what? 8.5. And the speed will be zero German because it's not running yet. Okay. I see students that have never been engaged in school, buckling down in different disciplines. Uh, they make the connection. Um, this, is, this is applied math, where in a math class they just want to hide and not do homework. Now they see purpose in it. Okay. The white stuff that's getting sprayed onto the metal right now is the coolant, because at the high speed that it's going at, it's going to really heat up and get real hot, so we spray this coolant on it just to make sure that it doesn't get uh, overheated. But we've integrated a lot of academics into this that never had ties before. For example, math class does Escher tessellations, puzzle parts, um, and we bring in their work, modify them, manufacture them, and put out a level of artwork that's math related. This was a class project several years ago. Uh, it's a model of a railroad lock done in the turn of the century. It's a mechanical device that works, and we've mass produced these with a wooden spring and all, all the accessories. We need students to have opportunities to excel. What I know from experience in this is 90% of the students in this room will not follow this path. But what they will gain is confidence. What they will gain are study skills and the ability to know how they personally learn. He challenged me from the beginning point. As a freshman, I took the beginning drafting because he came to us in middle school and did a little presentation. He showed us the stuff that we make and what we do, and I just really got interested in that. So I took the beginning drafting course, and it came easily to me. He started out talking about architecture because he just wanted to draw. But now he's taking him into civil engineering and other avenues, too, that we didn't really know anything about. But he's been able to gain that on his own experience, his own identity, his own participation. And this is what STARS has brought out of him. A Delta II rocket carrying a GOI-1 satellite has successfully launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base. With Vandenberg Air Force Base being so close to us, I mean really just right outside the city limits, and all the space launches they do, both commercial and civilian with NASA, students see these things a lot. They see these launches on a regular basis, and they tell me often when a launch is going to happen. They've already got this interest, this, this motivation, just walking in the door. So we encourage students to go into any type of engineering at any level, and the community colleges, the universities, our industry partners, they're gonna be thrilled to have any of our students. There's only a few places in the whole country where we launch rockets from, and Vandenberg Air Force Base is the West Coast one. And so for the students to be near that activity and around it in the community that's supporting it, and then for them to see an opportunity uh, to actually pursue that career path is really tremendous. And I think it really uh, fits together with a kind of synergy that you won't find in many places. We're gonna pull out a, a book 
and just have you try and read while you are dizzy. You think these astronauts in space, when they first get up there and they're feeling a little disoriented, their equilibrium's off because this person's floating sideways and that person's floating upside down, they're going to get a little disoriented, but they still have to do their job. My grandfather, he was a part of uh, Boeing up on base over here at Vandenberg Air Force Base, and he was just always involved with the space programs and the engineering part, and so it just, the genes just kind of passed down to me as far as drawing and drawing up plans, and then as far as being a basketball player, I since I was four years old, I've always wanted to play in the NBA. I'm going to major in college in civil engineering because I've always wanted to be somehow involved with the NBA, like designing NBA-style arenas or something like that. Now he's moving into wanting to design facilities. So he's doing all these different things, but it comes from his ability to be able to draw first, his participation here in STARS, which has expanded his understanding of how to draw and to use different measurements and different line alignments. You know, so basketball has been a vehicle, STARS has been a vehicle, and that's just going to take him to places that we, we couldn't even imagine.